Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Now that we have our housing unit well pretty much complete, we still have one house right over there, uh, we will move our focus into turning this land into, into something else. Uh, first of all, there was a, still a few requests that I uh, have to get, get through, so we'll name a couple of beavers. So the first one, let me just bring back the UI real quick. The first one is going to be Timber Kit, and you are going to be a builder. The second beaver that we're going to name is going to be Razor Fox Gamer. And same with you, you are also joining our builders team. And lastly, Nelson wanted us to name one Bob the Builder. Okay, then there we go. Uh, there we have our uh, three be another beavers named. And now let's let's shift our focus over to the building uh, building plans. I have not queued up anything up, but I got a pretty good idea how we want to do things. So first of all, let's just detonate couple of dynamites and uh, it just never gets old. So satisfying. And what we will want to do here is deepen it a little bit more. Now, I want all this area to be under District 3. So that means we are going to have to cut a couple of links in here. So let me just pause the game and we'll do something like this, I suppose. Oh, we'll get rid of that gate over there as well and let's just do it like so I think yeah and now we want to remove this road and we're just gonna deepen this land just a little bit I think somewhere about here should be good so essentially we are gonna create some more canals so that way we can um, fertilize the, the rand, uh, land uh, later on. Now let us check real quick if we are moving some explosives over from here. Yes, we are. So we should have quite a few in store. And that is correct. So uh, we'll also up the priority on this, this task over here. And now the water needs to come from this lake in here. And the best place to do this... Uh, he's going to be somewhere about here, I suppose. Well, we are going to need another canal, but this can link up somewhere over here as well. So let's give this a try. We'll do it roughly... Let's see. Maybe here's a good spot. And for access, we are going to give them an alternative roads for for the time being so that way we can queue up some more dynamites i always forget to click the shift button but that's all right uh, let's just speed up the time as well this night is taking forever i uh, missed one and here it is okay i think with the other the idea really is to have a central road going through and around this area oh we got another trout coming in okay we got three days wait that's uh you have enough water okay we're fine no panic then we want to put trees probably around here yes and now we can Detonate these as well. There's still a couple more. I don't want to detonate them just yet. Because uh, we have had some bad experience. Uh, before. But let's not talk about it. Oh, not you. And we'll put our road on top of this as well. Uh, is this all done? It does seem like so. Oh, wow. Never gets old, honestly. And we'll do the same. One more layer. Just in case. We'll never know. Would we'll be a shame to, to have to um, rip up all the roads again. So it's it's just let's let's just try and be a little bit smart about it. 
At least I hope. Oh. Now, with those farms over here, what I'll want to start using is those beehives now. Just so we can be a bit more space efficient. And then we'll also want to have some more extended trees around here. Is that that's too much? We still got two here, so something like this seems good. Okay, do we have a few more? Yes, we do. I think we can detonate these ones as well. And you. So over here, we are going to put a double one, I believe. Yes, it should be a double one. And just a couple of levies in the corners. Yep, that looks good. And I think we'll just... They're not all perfectly connected just yet. Still a few dynamites to do, but we'll just detonate them anyway so we can finish, uh, get started on some of those platforms. Okay, I think we can pause you. Oh, you already put most of it in, in there. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Now, not to confuse myself, let me just delete. I always forget to hold down shift. Alright, let's try again. We'll remove these roads from here. And there's going to be another platform. Oh, we're going to need some more dynamites. Okay, one more layer. And let's speed up you as well. And same with the levees. Uh, dynamite is okay. A few more links are done, it seems. And let's put a few more platform platforms in. Now, to finish this off in, in this section, we're going to put in another floodgate. Oh, and it seems we got, uh, got a team of beavers coming over. Uh, they might be transporting some resources. Yes, that seems to be accurate. Okay, a few more beehives. Let's see, this spot seems good. In here... And in here. And the same thing again. We are going to have some trees. Uh, that is not the right spot. Or trees, it seems right. Uh, okay, let's just pack this. We'll close you and... Nice. And now we can finish this link here as well. couple more dynamites in, in here. And seems the beehives do require paper. Let's just check in our main colony. How much paper do we have here? We got quite a few. So we will transfer a few of them over. There we go. And now for this section here is where we are going to have that warehouse to hold all our goodies. Now, let me just try and look at how much space do we need for the farmhouse. Suppose here... It's going to be roughly a good location. Then a road will be just in front here. And we can delete. It's, get, it's starting to get a little bit confusing. So we'll take a couple of them out. And because the warehouse unit was quite quite sizable, we are going to have to put a few platforms in here as well. I'm just going to pause it for a second to get the blueprint down first. I don't want them to start building this just yet. Just in case I get, the, uh, uh, get it a little wrong. Okay, and here is the first layer of how our warehouses are going to be to be placed. We have four small ones in the corners, and in the middle we got a cross with uh, with the medium-sized uh, warehouses. Now I think, uh, if I remember correctly, someone in uh, in one of the previous episodes commented as well, what's the point of using small and the medium ones if you can just slap down, where is it, the uh, enormous one with 4000 capacity. And uh, I can't remember if I mentioned in, in one of the videos as well, but uh, essentially for me, uh, the difference is uh, yes, the biggest one is probably easiest, but what I like about the medium and small one is, is A, 
that you can manage the stock levels because the game does not have a better way to to manage really so you have to go to the warehouse and set what is accepted there and that allows you to uh, control the amount of resources you're getting but also with the with these warehouses you can just um, keep going up vertically and that's something that I quite like now that is going to be the first layer uh, as I said before so I'm just gonna have to check if we have enough resources we got logs we got planks here as well a bit of paper okay so not too bad I think with food we'll get the farms going going first which means we'll, yeah let's prioritize the farmhouse and we'll get some carrots in here too just like so oh and we should probably finish this road here yeah that should be wait is that deep enough no it is not uh, I still need one more let's give you the highest priority and same with them as well slightly higher priority and once to get this section here done we can link up the road once again are you okay here oh we got a few jobless beavers can we just move into one of these no they're all full maybe down here Okay, the last bit of dynamite is here as well, and we can finally connect them up. Now with the middle bit here, I think we're going to have to do something like so, whilst we wait for the platforms to be completed. We don't really have to unpause the beehives, actually. And then we'll have some, some trees around here, too. What's the range again? Oh. Uh, it would be much better if the road came from here. Are you empty? Yes, you are. So that's good. You know what? Let's change this. Like so. And now we'll get rid of a couple more buildings. And just place down a new gate. And again, let's just clean it up a tiny bit. And now we can bring trees around this side of the farms as well. We're still not done with, with those. We still need blanks. We out of them? No, we're not out. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see, can we extend the road so beavers from the other colony could come and help us complete this task over here? What if temporary, just for the time being, I just can't get, to, uh, get the words out of my mouth right now. Uh, oh, we can't connect you. Right, um, what about now? Yes. Okay. Oh, and the drought has started as well. Quickly to check, do we have any bumps here? Yes, we do. Let's just pause them. And that over here should be fine. There isn't a lot of water spilling over. Uh, you are going to need some more water. Okay. Is this opened up as well? One should be enough, I suppose. We'll do one on this side as well. Okay. Back to District 3. Now, what I'll do is I'll probably let them complete a little bit here. And I'll cut it back once we got the first layer of this structure done. Okay, so the building is taking a little bit longer than uh, anticipated. Because we've got a whole lot of resources to get in here and uh, the builders from both uh, District 2 and 3 are helping us out. It seems we've got some hungry beavers in here. There should be more food coming shortly. I think to help them out just a little bit, let's build another farm. Perhaps here we'll give it a higher priority. And what we'll also start doing is... Um, let's 
continue planning this out. So the next step would be to have a few more warehouses. I'm just going to place them and then probably pause them. We want to put them in the corners like so. Let's give them a lower priority actually, not, not pause them. Okay, to get up here, we'll place staircases on these spots. Okay, and then we'll want another warehouse. Oh, it's not. Wait, let's move it up a little bit. Like so. Okay. Now, what we'll want to do, we'll, we'll need a few platforms. I think, yeah, that looks good. A few more stairs to help beavers get up here as well. And we'll put the roads in straight away so we don't forget later. Plus, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to, to see it as well. So, something like... Like so on both sides. And same with the paths. Uh, let's just do it like so. Now, the plan for this is to put some uh, leisure, the rooftop terraces, in these corners. But we're going to pause them for the time being. Because we need to build the top layer as well. And then in this section, let's see. Um, platforms right on those corners. Let's try and turn around. And a few ladders as well. Alright. All we need is some roads now. And for decorations in the corners, there isn't really a lot to choose from. But we are going to put those shrubs up here. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. And we'll try and get a better better angle on, on this corner too. Okay. Now the final bit is going to be uh, to use a few of those roofs over here. Uh, nope. Not, not there. Starting to come together quite nicely already. Then we'll have a couple of beaver statues. Let's see what was the problem for this one. Too far for builders. Okay, that's alright because I think this is still connected to um, District 2, which means we forgot to place roads here. But that's okay. Then a few decorations. I can just place them in those spots there. And two more shrubs. Okay, so next we'll have to go up a little bit more. Let me just try and figure this out. I think we want to take the, yeah, triple one. Maybe we'll change the angle. Yep, that looks better. And like so. Alright, now a few more roofs in place as well, we'll face them this way. I think we'll pause this side first, so that way beavers can still... Hmm, yeah, they can't get up there. Okay, we'll, ha we'll have to place a temporary staircase here. Let them go up, finish those roofs over there. And this reminds me, we do need a couple over there with a platform in the middle. And on top of this one, I think, yeah, that should be good. And once these are built, then we can put in the final uh, roof pieces as well. Yeah. And that's pretty much how... What, what it's going to look like. I'll uh, let our beavers um, 
finish the construction over here and then we'll jump back it is going to take quite a bit of time so i'm just going to cut this out and uh and we'll see the results in a little bit and here it is this is our new uh, storage uh, complex with uh, with a few rooftop terraces as well for beavers that are a little tired just to just to chill out over here now the final thing left to do is to let some water go through this channel over here uh, maybe a little bit lower I'm not sure if the ah I think it is coming through slowly and now the final step really is to plant a couple of trees around here to make it look a l even nicer and one more corner unfortunately we can't plant any of them here but um that's okay now uh oh okay <laughs> we're just gonna raise this a little bit uh, hello water hmm well that's very bizarre well, let's give it a moment maybe there's just too much water going through at once and just pushed it out of the way um it should be fine any second now and there we go right a couple more things over here let's see i've um disconnected district 2 from here so that way uh, all of those beavers that are living in our apartments can have access here as you can see it's just red it is a little further away because they have to go through and around and up and down and all that kind of stuff but uh it's okay they they, they are able to reach everything um now we can also take uh, this out from here and a couple of those redundant roads as well. Okay, that's starting to look better. And uh, food situation right now is... I think it's stabilizing. But as soon as it starts going down a little bit, or once we want potatoes or anything else, we can just plant them in the allocated spot over here. Now, the next thing for us to... to I think we planted all or most of those trees where we where we want them. Um, we can do a few more, I think, around here. Like so. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. And let's see if we can squeeze a couple in here too. Oh yeah, we can also get rid of this small water storage. Because that looked a little awkward. And let's see, where is the roads? And we got it. Let's delete a couple of these roads. And this means we do not need this, um, those small storage houses anymore since we got this massive... Well, I wouldn't say it's massive, but it's pretty big. What is it? We've got uh, four at the bottom, six at the top, so about ten, ten thousand in medium storage if I calculated this correctly, plus another 800. So about 10,800 for, for storage over there. And plus, in my opinion, it also looks a little bit nicer than the than the large uh, underground warehouse. Of course, we could do uh, three of them. It takes a little bit less space, but this one, I think I just like the aesthetics of, uh, of, uh, of this building over here. Right, with that being built over here, I think it's time to just point out that we've, um, we should have built levees here instead. Um, I'm gonna leave it for now because we are not gonna release any water through here, or except this, that's a bit of a spillage over here. But in the future, we are gonna have to change a few of them for levees because what I'm thinking, so that's our future plans now. What I'm thinking is to create um, new kind of like a river uh, bending around here, around these cliffs. And then just small waterfall dropping down into 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 this canyon. It looks like a natural place for a river. And then we can direct it to the uh, left. And I've queued up some levees over here, but I just don't have access to uh, this low ground just yet. But we could uh, direct this water down here 
create this river system that connects back up with uh, with this main river over here. And that could be something really cool. I'm not really sure if I want to do the same through the middle. But um, yeah, that's one of the options for sure for the future. So um, I think we're going to wrap this episode up with, with this uh, warehouse <laughs> finished now. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for joining again this, uh, this episode. So um, I hope you have a great time and let, let's hope you, you'll come back for the next one. All right, take care, everyone.